In mathematics, there are constructive proofs and existence proofs. Existence proofs are also known as non-constructive proofs or existential proofs. These proofs establish that mathematical objects satisfying certain properties exist. For example, Bertrand's postulate states that for every natural number n, there exists a prime number p such that n is less than p and p is less than or equal to 2n. So a constructive proof for this statement will show you how to find this p given a natural number n, whereas an existence proof will not tell you exactly how you can find such a p given a number n. We are now going to look at a statement that has both a constructive proof and an existence proof. And the statement is the following. There exist irrational numbers a and b such that a to the power b is rational. This is now a well-known result, and there are very short proofs for this. So the first one that we're going to show is an existence proof. The proof goes as follows. We're going to let a and b be the square root of 2. Square root of 2 is irrational, so both a and b are irrational. Now, let y be a to the power b. If y is rational, then we are done, because a and b are irrational. But if y is irrational, then y to the b is the same as the square root of 2 to the square root of 2, all to the square root of 2. And by the law of exponents, this is square root of 2 to the power of square root of 2 times the square root of 2. And that is the square root of 2 squared, which is 2. And 2 is rational. We have got what we wanted. Now, this proof does not exactly tell us how to choose a and b exactly. It only shows you one of these two cases will give us what we want. Now, it turns out that the square root of 2 to the square root of 2 is not rational. So... This is, in fact, the truth. But let's look at a simpler example, because showing square root of 2 to the square root of 2 is irrational is rather difficult. So we're going to let a be the square root of 3, and let b be the logarithm base 3 of 4. Now, a is irrational because it's the square root of a prime number. But what about this? Now, if b were rational, we could write b as p over q for some natural numbers p and q. We can assume p and q are natural numbers because the logarithm of 4 base 3 is at least 1. And that means log base 3 of 4 is p over q, and so 4 is 3 to the p over q, and that means 4 to the q is 3 to the p. But both sides are integers, and p cannot be 0, and the left-hand side is not divisible by 3, so this is impossible. Alright, so b is irrational. Now, what happens if we look at a to the b? Well, a to the b is the square root of 3 to the power log base 3 of 4, and the square root of 3 is 3 to the half. So this is now 3 to the 1 half times log base 3 of 4. And using the rules of logarithm, I can write this as log base 3 of 4 to the half. And that's just log base 3 of 2. And so this is just 2. And this is a rational number. And so we have demonstrated the truth of this statement by explicitly giving the values for a and b. That is a constructive proof.